everyone, this is Dee from SimplyGFX.org and today I'll be showing you how to create a bright, glowy kind of spring um, effect and it's going to be pretty green and blue tinted. You can go file open to open your picture or I've just dragged mine in. And first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer and working on this layer we're going into our filter gallery and you can really just play around with all these filters and get some really different variations of um, spring effects. But I've got the neon glow and I'm going to be picking a bright kind of summery spring green that's really fresh and make sure my glow size and brightness are at its maximum. Setting this on linear dodge, I'm going to lower the opacity to around 44. And you can see now it's given it a really, really bright green glowing effect. Adding a new adjustment layer, I'm going to get a gradient map. And the first color is going to be a yellow and a quite light one too. The second color is going to be a very uh, a soft moss kind of green. And putting this on lighter, we can lower the opacity to around 25%. Just really, you can adjust this according to whatever your picture looks like. You don't have to use it as an example. And I'm going to get a new adjustment layer. This is going to be a brightness slash contrast. Like I said before, you can adjust it accordingly to your picture. I've lowered brightness and increased contrast by 40. By now you can see it's really, really quite green and yellow tinted. Um, some of the color has been changed. And now I'm going to make sure that it looks nice and perfected by going to photo filter and in here I'm going to be picking a nice little yellow or you could go deep yellow I'm going to lower the density and then getting a second photo filter what we can do is change this one to a green and I've picked a deep emerald and lowered density to quite low as well my third photo filter will be a underwater now this one looks really cool and gives it a really bright um, look and now that I have finished my adjustments pretty much what I can do is just kind of get the lighting quite right and what we're going to do is go into exposure and I'm gonna lower it for now and increase offset by quite a bit while lowering gamma correction and I'm just adjusting this until it gives me that kind of light tinted effect that just um, makes it look really nice and bright but not to the point where it's exceedingly light. And now you can see it's pretty much done. Um, that was just a really quick video showing you something I was you know, trying to play around with and get a really fun kind of photo filter. Um, what I've actually done is gone back into the glow layer and um, decreased opacity even further to around 20% because I thought that the green was a little bit too overwhelming so once I like decreased that opacity it had more of the blue showing through so um, I forgot to show you guys uh, the video of me doing that but um, just keep that in mind really it's up to you so hopefully you thought that was a wonderful tutorial. Uh, remember to like the tutorial if you did enjoy it. Um, I wouldn't mind if you did like it, even if you didn't enjoy it. Um, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I do plan on uh, making another one very soon. And also remember to share with your friends if they want to start learning Photoshop or this very cool filter. So until next time, bye.